inspired me to write in general? Well, actually, I wanted to be a scientist. I thought I was going to be tromping through swamps, collecting samples of all kinds of wild stuff. I, interest, I was really interested in microbiology. Uh, but I got the writing bug in upper elementary school. I was pretty good at it, and I was always writing about science. And I had a teacher that had me keep a science journal every day of uh, going out in, when I'd go in the woods looking for stuff, and I would make stories out of uh, the events that I took place in my journal. Kids Read, we've had Kids Read here at Griffith. This is our fifth year. Kids Read was founded by um, Mrs. Eileen Bailey, and once a month, for seven months out of the year, we have a morning reader, could be an author, just could be a reader, and each kid is presented with a book. And lots of kids do not have a nice library or books to read at home, so this means a lot to them. So right now I want to introduce Mrs. Eileen Bailey. She said she's given our school over 35,000 books. So she's an inspiration to all of us. I would love to be more like Mrs. Bailey. Now you're third graders, but this story is going to take place in the second grade. What inspired me to write children's books? Well, I never would have told you ever that I was going to be a children's author. I was asked. I got a call from a publisher in Minneapolis, Minnesota. They were looking for somebody to write a book about saguaro cactus for fourth graders. With Conrad, this is the third time I've brought him to Griffith School. He is more of a performer. Sure, he's an author, but as we saw here today, the kids are so motivated, so engaged, and they loved him. Gator, gator, second grader. Howdy, humans. Hi. I imagine most of you reading these scribbles are what I call two-leggers, just like Conrad. He's the guy making these little symbols on paper so you can understand my squeaky voice. My home is a very nice wire mesh cage. The second graders take good care of me. Oh, did I forget to tell you? There are lots of other creatures that live here in the second grade too. Mrs. Nichols is a fun teacher. She tells her students to always be kind to creatures of all shapes and sizes. She tells them lots of fun stories. Your teachers tell you fun stories? Yeah! Oh, all right. I want to tell you a special story. It's about the day two boys brought a very interesting creature to our classroom. Believe it or not, kids do not have books at home. And she's all about helping kids in this type of demographics get books at their houses. Mm -hmm. 